Hello again, this is Captain John with another one of my video tips of the week. In today's video tip, we're going to take a look at what to look for in a steering compass. Remember that your steering compass is one of the most important navigational tools you have aboard. When all else fails, this single tool will get you home. Use these easy tips for safer sailing. Card visibility is one of the most important factors, and you want to look for a compass with a card diameter of about 4 inches or greater. A card of this size has large, easy-to-read degree markings, and this cuts down on fatigue and eye strain. Numbers spaced at 30-degree intervals are easy to read in a seaway, and you want hash marks at 10 and 5 degree intervals between the numbers. The compass dome serves as a magnifier to further enhance the card readings. Stand in front and to the side of the compass. Move the compass to different heights to simulate sitting or standing at the helm. Step back and look at the display. Is it clear and easy to read without straining your eyes? Check how easy it is to read the compass using the installed lubber line. Lubber lines are drawn onto or fixed to the compass glass. The person steering the boat lines up the course to the fixed lubber line. For instance, if you want to steer 045 degrees magnetic, you would turn the boat until 045 lines up with the lubber line. Before you make your purchase, make sure you are satisfied with the color and design of your compass lubber line. Conduct an oscillation test before you buy the compass. Remove the compass from the box and rotate it in a horizontal plane through 360 degrees. The card should be completely free of friction and not bind against any part of the housing. Repeat this test in the opposite direction. You want your compass card to recover when you are in a seaway or after you make a sharp course change. Place the compass back onto the shelf and align the lubber line with one of the numbered 30 degree markings. Hold a small magnet to one side of the compass housing. The card will begin to spin toward your magnet. Wait until the card stops all movement, then quickly remove your magnet to a distance of at least 3 feet or 1 meter. Small cards should move back to the original mark right away. Larger cards might make a small swing past the lubber line, but should move back to the original mark without further oscillation. The card should stop and settle onto the original course within one degree of the original reading. If the compass fails this test, the compass pivot, fluid, or compass card itself could be defective. Now you know the easy steps to test any compass before you purchase. Use easy tips like these for safer sailing on the waters of the world. This is Captain John, and this has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more sailing tips and techniques on www.skippertips.com.